welcome students to class 3 maths lesson 1 numbers and number names session 1 you already know the greatest one digit number is 9 the greatest two digit number is 99 and the greatest three digit number is 999 now when we add 1 to 999 what do we get we get 1000 now 100 is the smallest number of four digit and we call it 1000 number name of 100 is 1000 now let us see number names of a few four digit numbers 1001 this is 1001 1010 1000 1 like this we can go on 2000 3000 4000 5000 5000 and so on now let us see what will be the greatest four digit number the greatest four digit number is going to be 9999 The greatest four digit number is going to be 9999. Let us see it on the place value chart. So we will first place 19 in the ones place. Next 9 in the tens place, next in the hundreds place, and the last one in the thousands place. Let us take another example and put it in the place value chart. The example that I have taken is one zero two zero one thousand twenty. We will start with the rightmost zero, and put it in the ones column. Then comes two. It will go in the tens column. After that, we have zero in the hundreds column, and one will come in the thousands column. Let us read the four digit number on the abacus. We start with the leftmost digit. In the ones place, we will write one because we have one bead in the one spike. The next spike of tens has three beads, so we will write the digit three in the tens place. In the hundred spike, we have two beads, so we will write two in the hundreds place. In the last spike, we have one bead, so the digit in the thousands place is going to be one. Thus, our number form is. One two three one, one thousand two hundred and thirty one. Write one thousand two hundred and one on the place value chart and write its name. Also show the numeral on the abacus. So the place value chart. In the ones place we will write one, tens place we will write zero, hundreds place we will write two, and in the thousands place we will write one. The number name is going to be one thousand two hundred and one. Let us now make the abacus for this. The number was one two zero one. We'll start with the ones column. On the one spike, we will put one bead. In the ten spike, we will not put any bead as the number there is zero. We will go to the hundred spike, and there we'll put two beads. Thousands place we have one, so we will put one bead on the thousand spike. This is the numerals representation on the abacus. Now let us do a worksheet to enhance our understanding. Worksheet one, question one. Read the abacus and write the numeral and its number name. We have two parts in this question. Question number two. Show the given numeral on the abacus and make its place value chart. So what you have to do here, you have to make an abacus and show this numeral on the abacus, and after that you have to make a place value chart and then put the digits of this number in the place value chart. The first one, A part is two zero one three, B part is three zero three one. Question number three, fill in the placeholders. One two nine zero. Nine two three five, and the last number is one zero two one. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. 
I wish you luck with your worksheet. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay happy.